We're here at the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God in Alexandra. We're attending the Alexandra Women's Health Project. And I'm here with Mrs. Marcia Pierce, the founder of the Women in Action, the main group that made this event possible. A very good morning to you. Good morning, Namietsu. Women in Action, who are they? We are a group of pastors' wives from the Universal Church, and we decided to go an extra mile to better serve the community. Our motto is knowledge is power. So we work on empowering women in different levels to contribute for a better standard of life for them. But the Women's Health Project here in Alexandra, how did it come about? Yesterday, um, the world somehow acknowledged the International Cancer World Day. So the best way to uh, give awareness to people is not only in paper, but is really taking action. So we decided that in partnership with the Cancer Association, the Breast Health Foundation, the health department of Gauteng, we would host this event in one of our churches to facilitate for women from Alexandra community to have access to this knowledge, how to prevent, how to cure, how to identify cancer. So what kind of services do you have here? Is it only an awareness campaign or are there other services that you're providing, examinations, tests? Yes, um, it's awareness campaign, but also we are providing pap smear tests. We are providing self-examination um, for breast cancer. We are providing sugar diabetes levels, HIV, STI tests, and awareness in all that, including some organizations from Alexandra and all around that deal with cancer, who are here represented, as you can see, empowering women, teaching them signs to look for, whom to look for in case they see something wrong with themselves or their children. So that is our aim, is to be on the field bringing awareness. A project of this magnitude will need a lot of help. Um, we got in partnership with the volunteers of the Breast Health Foundation. We have the volunteers of the Cancer Association, the nurses from the health department. We have the health department that takes care of the HIV and STI diseases. And we have our manpower from the Universal Church, pastors' wives. Because to empower women, we had first to be empowered ourselves. So we have among us 17 of our group members who are HIVP educators. We have uh, um, about 40 of us who had been in the training to be supporting cancer um, patients in their treatments. We empowered ourselves so that we could share this knowledge and also to be available for emotional, for spiritual support to the community. And I'm sure that's very important. Just one more thing. There are a lot of people that are here coming in, going out, going to different stores. I'm sure something so big must have cost a lot of money. Are people paying to come and receive these services? Indeed, it's a very expensive project and we counted on the donation and support of several NGOs including Bank Med and the Universal Church financially speaking so that we could host all these people you can see around paying absolutely nothing. All the work that is being provided here is totally free of cost for all those who have joined us yesterday, over 2,000 people, today, and will be joining us tomorrow until 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so is that when the project will come too close? Yes. Our project was meant to be for three days, so we're closing our doors tomorrow at 6 p.m. So, Barcelona, we're going to pray, my wife, and the pastor's wives, 
the women in action. The women in action. Doesn't matter what day that's going to be, cancer day, HIV day, whatever day. If there is no day, we're going to be working to help our community. Basala. So the seven zero paga take no magni nina. Basala, lift up your hands to God. My Lord, I bless these people right now and beforehand. I determine they are healing. If there is anyone here cancer positive today, let them be healed. And in the name of Jesus, we declare their freedom. But if still there is any unwanted result, bless the hands of the doctors, the nurses, in whatever institution to give our people the best assistance possible. I thank you, my Lord, the government, for making it possible. And obviously, and above all, I thank the pastors, the assistants, the pastors' wives, and the members of the church, because without them, we could not do anything. So bless them all, my Lord, as they go on their journey right now. Let your spirit be with them. Bless the events, the speeches that we're going to have later on, the presentations today, tomorrow, and Saturday. And let your people be blessed, my Lord. Pasaloni, ask Jesus to be with you now. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Basalon say Amen. Shaisango Bongo Jesu Kikiza. Kikiza Kakulu. Woman in action, Basalani.